Oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today we're gonna go to what I call Scooter Braun School to Breaking an Artist. Now, if you don't know who Scooter Braun is, he's managed people like Justin Bieber, Ashton Roth, Kanye West, but we're not gonna get into all that stuff right here. First, I just want you guys to watch this clip from Scooter Braun's Blueprint interview with Complex. Um, Shaka Zulu, Ludacris' manager, and I went to a Hawks game, and we were talking about how I'm starting my own thing, and he said, look, most people get one their whole career. You're lucky if you get two. So really just focus on one. So I was like, I'm gonna get two. Cause then I'm gonna show people like I'm for real. So I basically sat down, I looked for a gap in the marketplace and I chose three different types of acts. One was what Asher was, which was someone who could really, really rap, but spoke to the white boy that Asher was, um, that loved hip hop, but didn't have anybody like them in hip hop, like, you know, wearing flip flops. The other was this idea of the young Michael Jackson, big Michael Jackson fan. So when Michael was singing these angelic songs, you actually believed in love before you became an adult and got jaded because you had the angelic voice of a child speaking about love from the time you remembered it. And that's the whole, you know, Justin filled. And then the other one I never found. And it was just a, uh, it was like Britney meets pink. The best way I could probably describe it. <laughs> now I think there are two really interesting points of how Scooter Braun thought about the marketplace and breaking an artist in the first place. A lot of managers end up just getting whoever they see popping or they're moving a little bit. Or maybe you might end up in a management situation where you just know somebody, it looks like they might be having some kind of potential and you just latch on. Now what Scooter Braun did, obviously he did start up with a few more resources than a lot of other people, but he actually had a vision of what he wanted to do beforehand, but not just any vision. He looked for gaps in the market, just like it was a business trying to fulfill a need that didn't exist already in the marketplace. And he even mentioned another person that he didn't find, which leads to number two. When you talk about identifying those gaps and looking for something to fulfill that need, a lot of times it's easy to not be disciplined and just try to force it with somebody else. But as we all pretty much know, that usually doesn't work out too well. With that being said, why I thought it was important to even do this video was just simply this. Um, a lot of people are already in management situations. It's cool. That's fine. It, it works out. But it's just a different way to think about what you do, your moves in general. Maybe your artist doesn't fulfill a particular need that doesn't exist, but maybe some of the moves that you guys can make or some of the flexibility of your artist without actually being inauthentic could fulfill some kind of need that doesn't exist. And oftentimes, I know it's easy to hop on a bandwagon. Oh man, this style is working right now. Let's hop on the bandwagon, get a quick come up. But the thing is, we all know things about first mover advantage and all those kinds of concepts. If you keep the idea of fulfilling a need in mind, it will be harder at first if people aren't more receptive to that sound or you don't have the resources to give them that immediate platform. But when they finally get a certain level of a platform, they will break through. And because of that differentiation, you will get a lot of looks. And as a manager, people will probably look at you as a goat, a legend, a genius of some sort in the same way they look at Scooter Braun. But really, I want to get you guys thought on this idea process concept put it in the comments below other than that if you like this video go ahead hit that like button if you like it you might as well share it and if you're not subscribed you know what to do hit that subscribe button